in airport charges at the Delhi airport. And this is for the control period. It's a five-year period called the control period, 2014 to 19. PR Sanjay, corporate editor with The Mint, now joins in with some of these details. Sanjay, thanks so much for taking this call. Uh, explain this to us because I think this case is already at the Delhi High Court. Uh, the regulator wants tariffs to go down, whereas JMR argues that there should actually be an increase. So uh, where does this new order come in from? Uh, exactly. In, in February uh, 2015, uh, ERA has actually uh, suggested a 78% decrease uh, against uh, demand by GMR infrastructure, uh, Uran Nadial, which is Delhi International Airport Limited, uh, asking for a 46% hike. And uh, when uh, ERA had suggested this kind of a reduction, they had gone to a high court and they had uh, uh, sought a stay on it. So, but ERA had again uh, went back to their calculation and based on their capital investment, capital expenditure, they had come out with a new order or rather new suggestion saying that it, uh, it, it should be actually 96% reduction. So, uh, and on the contrary, uh, also, and they had also mooted for a uh, UDF to be down by just 10 rupees uh, for domestic passengers and uh, 45 rupees for international uh, passengers, which is huge reduction. And ERA has also suggested there shall not be any UDF for passengers, uh, be it international or domestic, will arriving. But uh, you know, the interesting factor over here is that it can't implement this one because since it is, as you rightly pointed out, it has been challenged at the High Court. So until and unless uh, it is, there's, uh, there's a clarity on the issue. Uh, ERAS can't uh, ask DL to uh, implement this order. So, uh, Sanjay, just to uh, you know, reiterate this once again, in the case which is still pending in the Delhi High Court, ERA was initially saying that the tariff reduction should be 76%. As per the new order, the new calculations say that the reduction should actually be 96%. Now, just to clarify the point that the reduction in UDF that you're talking about, user development fee, which is a very substantial reduction uh, if it comes down to just 10 rupees, is this also part of the existing case that is going on, the litigation that's underway at the Delhi High Court? No, no. The UDF is a new clause. The UDF is as per the uh, order, which is dated 8th December. But the original 78% reduction was based on a February order. But however, uh, even in the case of reduction, be it 78% or be it 96%, or uh, in the case of reduction in UDF charges, and zero UDF for uh, passengers arriving for domestic and international would be uh, finalized or formalized after uh, after ERA wins the case. If ERA loses the case, then you know it's a, you know another uh, you know battle begins because ERA will have to go back to the in calculations or it will be referred to the Ministry of Civil Aviation. All right, Sanjay, thanks so much. So legal battle brewing there uh, and uh, very divergent views between ERA, which is the regulator, which is asking for a reduction in tariff, and of course, GMR, which is arguing that charges should actually go up by as much as 42%. Starts down 1%. With that, we are completely out of time on Business Lunch. Thank you for watching. But Caprera takes the action forward.